<laughs> okay, the next test, right, are the next test results. Neanderthal ancestry DNA. Oh, God. They advertised this. Um, I saw this advertise them advertising this before I sent my test off and, you know, barred it and sent it off and all that stuff. And I was like, oh, you know, hmm. <laughs> Because I am, like, really hairy. I'm, like, a really hairy person. They say that um, hair, particularly back hair, is a sign of Neanderthal, Neanderthal DNA. Although I actually don't have much hair on my back. That's probably the one place I don't have hair, though. Like, everywhere else, pretty much, I got hair. You know, very hairy. You know, <clears throat> but not on my back, though. So I'm like, okay, I'm not sure. But yeah, let's see what the Neanderthal ancestry brings up. Oh God! Now there's some real, definitely some, some caveman DNA here. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Let's see. You have 109 Neanderthal variants. I'm not sure how that even pans out, but let's see. This is less than 98 percent of 23andMe customers. You know. So I have, um, I guess, less Neanderthal, Neanderthal DNA than the majority of their customers. I'm thinking their customers probably are ca a lot of Caucasian people, a lot of white people. Mm -hmm. Let's see. You have fewer, you have fewer Neanderthal variants than 98% of 23andMe customers. However, your Neanderthal ancestry accounts for less than 4% of your overall DNA. All right. Less than 4% of that is Neanderthal DNA, all right? Less than 4%. So perhaps like 2, 1, maybe that unassigned 0 0.4, perhaps. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> oh, all right. So let's see. Some of your traits may be influenced by having Neanderthal variants. Um, let's see straight hair. I don't have straight hair, obviously. Um, so no. Likely to sneeze after eating dark chocolate. No way! <laughs> come on, how am I going to be black and not like um, dark chocolate? Now, come on. Come on. And me sneezing after I have dark chocolate in my life? Come on now. That, that, no. Uh -uh. See, that's that. That's, see, I got that, you know, the African DNA, right? <clears throat> you know, you know that's you know those strong, dominant, robust African genetics. You know, all right. Less back hair. You have zero Neanderthal variants associated with having less back hair. Okay, height. You have zero Neanderthal variants associated with your height. Okay, so my Neanderthal variants, you know, pretty much don't exist then. It accounts, Neanderthal DNA accounts for less than 4% of my overall DNA composition. Awesome. <laughs>